Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everyone. I, From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you being here. And tonight we are going to talk about SQL backups, Microsoft SQL, everything from SQL Express to the biggest enterprise license you can buy. Backups are paramount. It should be one of the things you always do. Backup, backup, backup. Backups can be complicated with SQL. They're not always that easy. But thanks to Tim Bear over at tbear.com, they just got a lot easier. So let's take a look at what Tim's uh, whipped up for us here. Tim has whipped up Database Backup, and it is version 1.0.2.0. We are going to go ahead and click Download now, and I'm going to explain this a little bit more. I love the logo. He asked me what I thought it should be, and I was like, get a fist punch in an SQL container, and he'll, he'll probably update it. But he's got a free version and a pro version, and the pro version will add things like you can zip and compress the databases, you can restore the database directly from the program, and you can get email notifications. That, that will be coming. You will also get, for this version, all of the bug fixes and all the updates. So it's not like you buy it and then Tim leaves you out in the cold. You get the new version, your license key will work, everything will be awesome. Each machine that you're going to put this on is $30, but the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. So if you've got 20 SQL servers, Tim's going to give you a 25% discount, and it's going to be $2,025. And if you use the promo code Willie, you're going to get another 10% off. It's all uppercase. Uh, you're going to get another 10% off. So a $30 license will only cost you $27. A 20 pack would only cost you 1822. So some of the prereqs for the software are really the only two prereqs is that you're running SQL server and that you have .NET Framework 4.6.1 or greater. So let's take a look at the software. I'm going to open this guy. I'm going to go ahead and extract this and run it from a location, and we will be right back. All right, I've got my software extracted, the README file. Oh, Tim, this is not SwiftMail. That's another free product that he has. This is database backup. You're going to have to fix that, Tim. Anyway, this basically rehashes everything that's on the website. We did catch an error when we were testing where not all of the serial numbers registered and he has fixed that. So let's run the program. Windows 10 Smart Filter. Ooh, it did not. Usually I've seen sometimes this it will catch you know some of this software, but it didn't. That's awesome. So here is the software. This is the free version. And you can use integrated security or you can specify a username and password. And I've got SQL Express running on this machine. So let's walk through backing up a database. I'm going to go ahead and use integrated security. My server name is going to be localhost. My instance is going to be SQL Express. And I'm going to go ahead and click find to select a database. So I've got a database called all the things. So I'm going to select that. And it's going to go over here. Now, when you select a backup folder, it is important that the user that your SQL server is running also has access to that folder. So uh, my SQL server is running as the system service, so I am going to select C colon backslash backup. We can save the logs. And if we had the pro, we could zip the backup. And you can also specify the log folder. So the logs are going to help you like keep track of your, your backups. It's, it's beautiful. So once I click Test Settings, it's going to create a backup. And it's going to give us the option to spit out an XML file or generate a CLI string. And you can use both of those to create a scheduled task to schedule your SQL backup. So I'm going to hit test settings and you see backup of the database all the things completed successfully. So if we go to the C drive and we open this, so we'll go here and we'll go to backup, you can see that we've got a backup of all the things right here. And I was playing around with this a little bit 
earlier. So there is the backup. It's it's really that easy. If this was on, uh, you know, if I mapped this, did a UNC path, and backed it up to a Synology, uh, we would be done. So what we can do is we can hit Generate CLI String. This will spit this out, and then we can take this, and we can copy it into a Windows scheduled task. So maybe we'll do that in another video, but I wanted to show you this. So let's, let me show you what it looks like um, when we register this, because to restore database, you have to have uh, Pro, and then the email settings are coming soon. Like I said, if you register this, you're going to get all the Pro settings that come. You'll get all the bug fixes and things like that. It's very powerful as a free version, but the restore database, you don't have to go into SQL Management Studio. You don't have to know anything about SQL to run this. All you need is a username and password. Tim's program does the rest. It's beautiful. So when you go to file, you can exit. Help has about. So you can see we're on version 1.0.2.0. Help donate is going to take you to Tim's donate page. The bug report is going to take you to the forum that he has where you can report bugs. Check for updates is going to go out and check and see if there's any new software available. And then Help Go Pro is going to ask us for our email address and for our license key. So hold on just a second. I'm going to copy and paste that in there. All right, I'm going to put my email address in here. And I'm going to put my serial number in. And I'm going to click register. And it says success. Thank you. Thank you. My email address uh, has successfully registered. I've purchased one license. I've used one license. So I'll click OK. And now uh, anything that I had that was pro that is available to me, I can now use this. So we can back up that file. And I think this is a heck of a deal. If you've ever purchased SQL or any kind of backup software, or you've dealt with SQL, you know software can be very expensive. This, this is a deal. So, and remember to use, the, if you're going to purchase this, I'm going to put a link to it down in the description. If you purchase it, remember to use the, the code Willie and you will save another 10%. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please try the software out. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the Amazon affiliate links and go purchase this software from Tim if you need to back up SQL. Backups are so important. So important. So thank you again for being here. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.